Hey everyone, welcome back to another plan with me. I am planning for the week that was February 3rd through the 9th, my first Valentine's Day spread, which I am very excited about. If you know me and you know my planning style, you know I love to do Valentine's Day spreads pretty much all of February, except for, of course, Valentine's Day week because uh, that's my daughter's birthday. But I did do her birthday spread last week, so next week will be like a Valentine's Day spread with like kind of a birthday feel, but here we go. I'm going on a tangent. So this week I am using the kit Netflix and Chill from Scribble Prince Co. This was by far one of my, probably my top favorite Valentine's Day kit this year. The art is just so, I feel like so good for like every couple. Like every couple I know is like this, just hanging out, chilling, eating food, relaxing, just like just being sweet, but also just enjoying being lazy, which I love. So I love this art, I love this kit. I am using silver bougie boxes with this kit as well as all silver foil. I thought about bringing a wiggle into it and I was kind of like, you know what, I just want this week to be easy as far as the base and just kind of no thought, just all silver. And I haven't done a silver foil spread at all this year yet. I did do my mixed metal spread with Holly, but I never did any silver yet this year. So I'm really excited to be doing that. But yeah, I love this kit. I did have the fashion boxes. I put the one that I swear resembles me and Brian. Like, if this is not me and Brian, I don't. It looks just like it. It's literally his hair and my hair. Uh, watching TV up top. I did the double box, the Netflix box. I wanted to do the two food boxes that, like, I felt were very me and Brian um, in the middle. So he loves In-N-Out. And then I love ramen. So I thought that was kind of nice. And, yeah, I just kind of did all of that. Um... A lot of the foil overlays are from various shops, actually. So this is actually just the simple line bow from SPC. This is no longer available, but I have a bunch of these, so I really, I really enjoy them. I'm using that on the 15 millimeter washi strip. That's an add-on for this kit. And then I did use the Twinkle washi on the actual washi that comes with the kit. I was thinking about using hearts, but I felt like the simple bow with like a solid heart just didn't look right. It just didn't, it didn't mesh in my opinion. So. Um, I went with just the twinkle overlays and I felt like those were really nice. On my thankful thought, I'm just going to keep calling that it that, the top of my sidebar, um, the box with like, the stroke box with the bow is from Sadie Stickers. I have corners from Simply Watercolor Co. that have hearts on them that I thought were perfect. And then the heart full box overlays are from Crest Press. Crest Press is currently closed, um, but they were like really simple, really nice and perfect. If you're looking for more heart overlays, SPC has some that are really cute as well. So I just wanted to use my Crest Press ones because I only had one sheet of them, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I did. And then the overlay that I used on the bottom half of my sidebar, the bottom part of my sidebar, is from the Valentine's Day sheet from SPC of like full box overlays. It just says, you make my heart happy. I thought that was really cute. I wish I would've put it on the top box, but I kind of wanted to showcase it a little bit more with that stroke, so that's what I did. The he uh, header overlays I used in the middle are from Sadie Stickers, they're just little hearts. I put those all through the middle because I didn't have enough to fill the whole spread. And then I just used the heart header overlays on the rest of the headers and those are also from Crest Press. I kind of wanted to match that up um, as well. So that is all of the foil so far I believe. Should be. Um, but yeah that is the base. Doing my date, actually no, my date covers or my date hearts. Date hearts are from Sadie Stickers. I wanted to use those to bring in like some love, some Valentine's Day. And then I think after this, I work on my sidebar. <laughs> it's been a minute since I've done the base. So working on the sidebar, I did pull in the uh, white with silver headers, silver bow headers from SPC. These are a part of the white wiggle, which I really love using this now. My little squared off box, I put another fox and cactus like birthday girl with a one week countdown because it is officially one week until Avery turns five. I then put in my work schedule as per usual. And then again, that full box with the full box overlay. I've been really liking this sidebar. I feel like it works really well for me. Um, I'm glad I changed it too. I I don't know. I used to be so scared of change. I said this before, I think in passing to like a person, but like I used to be so scared of change, but now I just kind of like fully accept it and I like trying new things because like you never know if you're going to end up enjoying it as I now do with my sidebar. So moving on to this week, this week it was so boring, but all I can say about it is that I'm so thankful that it was boring. Last week was just really, really busy. And as much as I used to wish that I would always have busy days so I could fill up my planner, I now 
realize that I love the boring days because my planner looks more open and I just like being boring. I like not doing anything. It's just so relaxing not doing anything. So anyway, moving on to this week, I did put work in on three days. Yeah, I mean, I work six days a week, but I put it on three days just to fill up space. So I did that with Monday. I used the Coffee Monsters Co. like angry at the printer sticker. I say this every time, but I wasn't angry at the printers. I do need to get more like work related stickers though, I think. So put that in with a work script from SPC. I then put in one of the little cute couple stickers. This is from a couple sampler. It might be a Valentine's Day sampler, but I think it's just like a normal couple sampler from Once More With Love with the With Hub script just to mark that I spent some time with Brian. Um, we hardly get like any alone time with like out the kids and we were with the kids but Reagan napped when I got home from work and Avery went into her room and played so we got to like cuddle on the couch and like Netflix and chill which was really nice so uh, we did that and I just wanted to mark that to spend some quality time with him I then did do a little bit of planning so I used one of the cloud stickers I just want to use up this sheet honestly I have a bunch of these little sheets but I just like want to use up one sheet before I move on to the next. I'm that type of person. And then I used a planning time script with that. And then I did film this night. Um, usually Mondays are the days that I film putting down character stickers and like everything else. So I did film that for last week, the hollow party week. So I used from Once More With Love a little film sticker. I just realized that I ripped a hangnail out of my hand and it's actually bleeding. Oh, it hurts too. Ouch. Anyway. Anyway, so I used that uh, like film sticker, which matched really well because it was pink and purple with a film script. I was having a lot of issues this week with like putting things down straight. I just can't do it. <laughs> it's so hard. Like I used to be pretty good at it, I guess. And now it's just like difficult for me. But anyway, so I put that in and then I did my February budget this day, it, February 3rd, but I didn't have time over the weekend. So I used a Once More With Love like sticker on money. I will be filming budget videos very soon. Um, like I, I'm 100% gonna be filming them because I, I, I'll talk about it more in my budget videos, but like I wanted to wait until I perfected my budget, but like it's never gonna be perfect, so I might as well just share my journey with you guys. So I did my February one that day, and then I went to bed super early that night, so I put in a Coffee Monsters Co. sticker of a, an emoji running towards the pillow, because that's like pretty much me every night. I'm like, oh, it's bedtime? Oh, you, did, you say? Oh, okay, let me get to bed. Like. I'm pretty quick about going to bed at night. I actually read something somewhere that was like people that lay down at night and just instantly fall asleep how? And I never used to be that person, but I am 100% that person now. I will lay down, close my eyes, and instantly fall asleep. It's, it's beautiful. It's wonderful. Thank you. I thank the Lord every single day because it is so nice. Anyway, moving on to Tuesday, I put in another money sticker because I spent the majority of my morning setting up my student loan repayment. Hmm. Another thing I'll talk about in budgeting, but they originally wanted me to pay a ridiculous amount of money a month, and like I get it to pay off my student loans faster. It makes sense, but that's just not the way it's going to work for me right now. So I had to set up like a different sort of repayment situation with them. So I sent, I spent like the majority of the morning kind of figuring that out so again from the same money sheet I love that money sheet it's real cute so I put that in on Tuesday and then I caught up on a bunch of YouTube videos on Tuesday as well so I used a YouTube binge sticker from Once More With Love there comes a time at work sometimes where I just don't want to watch anything usually when I'm cutting restocks it's kind of difficult to watch something because my mind needs to be focused on counting I'm constantly like counting making sure I have the correct number of sheets to make the correct number of kits and I don't know I just can't watch anything when I'm counting something like my brain just is constantly working so there's always pretty much over the weekend and sometimes even into Monday I'm not watching anything at work it's just me and my thoughts all day uh, so I was able to catch up on all my YouTube videos on Tuesday which is so nice I had so many videos to watch so I did that I should probably get a band-aid my finger is actually really hurting then I put down a Coffee Monsters Co. Edit sticker with an upload script. I thought it was nice because I did both edit and upload on Tuesdays as per usual. Uh, the script is from SPC. Then I put down a flag. I've been wanting to use or incorporate flags more into my spreads and I think they look really nice. They kind of do the same thing that those little squared boxes do. They give some space, they show the bougie box and everything looks really cute. So I put in a little cuddling on the couch munchkins from Once More With Love. This sheet is so cute with a With Hubs script because we watched shows this night. I believe we were just watching Fresh Off The Boat. We've been binging that and it's been really nice. And then I put in a Happy Daya little computer sticker to mark content creation prep. Uh, if you guys follow my planner Instagram, which is Kristen Plans, it's also linked below. 
My word of the year, which I fi finally figured out, is focus. And one of the things I really want to focus on this year is content creation. If you've been following my channel for a while, I've been doing YouTube. I was, uh, well, I started when I was a freshman in high school, but I got, I just started this channel when I was a sophomore. So 2010. So I've been doing YouTube for 10 years now. Um, I was really consistent with it, obviously, in high school because it was pretty much all I had. I mean, I did have a job, but whatever. Um, and then, you know, I was always super, super consistent with it, except every single time I got pregnant. And because, well, every single time, it sounds like I've been pregnant 50 times. But, you know, I get really, really sick when I'm pregnant. I, I don't know. It's called hyperemesis gravidurum, I believe. But basically, my doctor diagnosed me with it this time around and was like, yeah, every time you get pregnant, you're just going to get ridiculously sick. And it's, it's true. I get just unbearably sick, and that's when I don't focus on content creation anymore and that's something I really want to kind of get back into because I used to be really good about like scheduling things and having a plan for things so I'm excited to do that so I kind of set up my plan that night and then Wednesday I took Wednesday off so I did the thing where I wake up at my normal time which is ridiculously early and then I go back to sleep a couple hours later and take a pretty mean nap. So I used a Grin and Barrett sticker with a nap script because I napped with Reagan for her morning nap and it was wonderful. Then we went to Kura for lunch, which is a revolving sushi bar. We've been there a few times and we really enjoy it. Avery loves it. She goes, mommy, let's go to the new sushi place. I'm like, sure. Um, she could eat like 10 of the crab rolls. And I mean, we pretty much let her because every time you put a little plate in, a little video plays and she gets a little toy. It's pretty cute. So yeah, we went there. It was pretty fantastic. I love Kura so much. Uh, so I used a Coffee Monsters Co. like sushi sticker because that was pretty much us. And then I put in a Target sticker from Once More With Love with a With Avery script because I went to Target with Avery. Um, it was just me and her. It was cute. It was like a little Target date. Reagan was sleeping and I was like, I'm going to take my girl into Target. Uh, so I put that in. And then I did laundry this day. I should have done laundry more this week because like it's starting to pile up again, y'all. I let myself go. <laughs> but I put in a Once More With Love laundry sticker with a laundry script. I actually did a lot of scripts this day except for the Kura, which is awesome. And then I put in one of the like Marie Kondo stickers from Box and Cactus with a declutter script because I went through the girl's closet again. Reagan, fortunately, okay, so fortunately I saved every single piece of clothing that Avery has ever worn. I've always saved everything. So fortunately for Reagan, she constantly has new clothes. Like I can easily just wash Avery's old clothes that are clean. Like I got rid of all like the really disgusting ones, but like everything that's clean, which is most of it, um, I just wash in the next size up and Reagan has a whole new wardrobe for a while. So I did that. I went through all of the old clothes. I think I pulled out 12 months stuff and I pulled out a little bit of 18 month stuff but there's more in there that I need to go through but unfortunately for Avery because she's my first um we have to buy her new clothes so I went through her closet I need to go through it again but there's a lot of stuff in her closet that does not fit her I probably should go spring clothes shopping for her specifically because she really could use some more clothes so I did that declutter Avery was behind me the whole time like mm, I love that shirt that shirt is so cute she's such a good helper uh, so I did that and then that night, I, we had a movie night for the first time in a very long time. So I put in a Once More With Love sticker of the couple watching movie with a movie night script. We watched Jojo Rabbit, which I had been wanting to see. I was fully under the impression that it was just going to be a straight comedy, like, the whole way through. And it really was, like pretty comedic for a while it really pulled you out of what, what historical time you're in and then it kind of just snaps you right back into it at the end um I definitely cried I would say like two and a half times <laughs> two and a half the end I like kind of teared up but yeah there was two specific times that really like got me kind of emotional but it was a very good movie I really enjoyed it um I don't know watching the trailer I was just like oh this is gonna be funny and then it just was like kind of sweet and like I don't know, it just kind of broke me a little. It was sweet. I really enjoyed it, like I said. So Thursday morning, I put in this munchkin that is just basically exhausted because I got, like, no sleep Wednesday night. I'm not quite sure what happened there. What is happening outside? Not a clue. Um, yeah, not sure what happened Wednesday night. I just kept waking up every couple of hours. I could not get any sleep. So Thursday morning, I was just exhausted. I could not keep my eyes open. It was not a good time, but it did snow, which was kind of crazy. Um, we were up and out so early that Avery and Reagan were both able to see the snow. I put in a Coffee Monsters Co. like snow sticker. It was Reagan's first time seeing snow, and she was like, what artist? Because it was so cute. 
Um, she wanted to eat it because that's typical Reagan fashion, eat everything. Um, but it was cute. It snowed, which is crazy. And then, again, I just put in, like, a little work sticker because I had to fill that space. I used a Once More With Love, like, printer sticker and a work script. And then I put in the dabbing munchkin to mark uh, that that day was a no-spend day for me. I feel like Thursdays are going to be, like, no-spend days for me because I don't need... I mean, unless unless something happens. Maybe... I don't know. I don't know why I made that statement because I don't want to predict it and then watch every Thursday from now on be a spend day. <laughs> but it was a no-spend day for me, so I put in the dabbing munchkin to celebrate that. I had to flip the little thing around because I totally, when I do those little squared boxes, I completely forget that the character sticker goes on the opposite side. It just confuses me a little bit. So I put that in and then I put in another Once More With Love like mom and child sticker with a playtime script because I spent the evening playing with Avery actually. She wanted me to help her set up some of her new toys that she had gotten from her birthday party and then I kind of just played with her for a little bit. It was a lot of fun. She's such a sweet kid. Moving on to Friday, it was payday, so I always put in a payday script first, and then I got coffee once this week. Hey, look at me go. I'm so proud of myself. Um, so I put in a paper and milk little, like, iced coffee, like, iced drink sticker with the Duncan custom script from Kinsey's Creations. Yeah, I'm actually pretty proud of myself. Did really good. And then I put in a little ordered sticker. I've never used any of these stickers. They're, like, the, um tracking your orders from coffee monsters co but i clicked or clicked pfft, i put in the ordered sticker because i did place an Aaron condren order this day i got a few things i will be filming a haul um to help me with like content creation and like planning i know i always say or i said this maybe to brian maybe to andrea i'm not sure but i was like one planner is good enough for me and now look at me now i have four types of planners that i use on the daily <laughs> crazy but I ordered that that day and actually came today which is exciting and then I put in I used to use these fox and cactus cameras all the time and I have a few sheets of them and I need to start using them again but I put one of the DSLR cameras in to mark that I took pictures for Instagram for my planner Instagram I don't know why I put it in I just don't think I had anything else to mark for the day and it is kind of a whole ordeal because I have to set the lights up a certain way and then I edit them a certain way and the editing takes a little bit of time it's, it's, an, it's an ordeal. So I put that in, and then I did spend some time with both girls. We had a little bit of playtime that night, which is always my favorite. I have this super cute sticker from Happy Diet of two little girls playing. I feel like the younger girl needs to have blonde hair now, but I was fully under the impression that I was going to have two brown-haired girls. <laughs> Who knows? But I put that in with a family time script. And then I did put in a Fox and Cactus, like, Wednesday Adams meh sticker. I mostly used it for, like, the confused face because I wasn't really meh. But basically, if you follow my personal Instagram, which is Kirsten Krasinski, um, in December, I signed up for a cookie delivery subscription service. And I didn't get charged for January, and I didn't get January's box. So I was just under the impression that maybe I accidentally clicked just, like, for one month to get December, and that was that. But then I got a notification that I was charged for February so I was like okay sounds great whatever and then I like emailed them to cancel I was like can I just cancel all like the future ones because like it's fine I don't mind about February but I just want to cancel them in the future because it is a little bit expensive and I am trying to budget she was like yeah sure do you also want to cancel February and I was like sure that's awesome that'd be great thank you so I canceled February but then I got a notification that my box shipped I was very confused, and I did get the refund, so I would, that was just me being like, am I getting cookies or what? Spoiler alert, I totally got the cookies, and they gave me the refund. I did email them, and they were like, ah, oh, yeah, don't worry about it. It was our bad, so got some free cookies, basically, so that's why I put the confused face in, and then on Saturday, I put in the, like, mad um, emoji because I forgot my breakfast that morning. I try to go s I try to go seven hours. I work seven hours, and then I'll take my lunch just because then I only have three hours left, so it's basically what I've been doing. So I forgot my breakfast and I was so mad at myself because like part of me being able to go seven hours is eating a breakfast. So I forgot my breakfast. I was really mad about that. I then put in another Coffee Monsters Co. like work sticker with a work script. And then I used one of the Coffee Monsters Co. Chick-fil-A stickers. I don't eat the sandwiches, but I have to use that sticker to mark that we got Chick-fil-A for dinner. We got Chick-fil-A last week. And since I now have the Chick-fil-A app and like you actually get a lot of points really quickly and it's free stuff a lot of the times. So I was like, let's just go get some Chick-fil-A. So I put that in for dinner. 
And then I did play again with Avery in her room. She has so many new toys now, and she's just like, I want to play. And her toys are fun. If you've never played with, like, the Melissa and Doug food toys, they are so cool. She has, like, a sushi sushi set that she got for Christmas, and, like, making the sushi is way fun. And then my friend Allie and Jimmy got her the pasta set and, and the cake pop set. The cake pop set is so cute. But, like, oh, my gosh, it's so fun. So anyway, we played, I put a happy dia sticker in of a mom and a daughter that reminds me so much of me and Avery with a with Avery custom script. And then the girls took a bath again together that night. We bathe all the time. Don't think by me putting bath in like once or maybe even twice a week. They only bathe once a week. Those girls are constantly getting baths because Reagan's hair is always gross and Avery is always just in general gross. So this was just the nights that they bathed together, which I think is very cute. So again, I marked that with a happy diet sticker and a bath script. And then I did do some more planning that night. So I put in another once more with love sticker and a planning time script. My throat is starting to hurt. I'm glad we're having soup for dinner because your girl's throat hurts. Then, moving on to Sunday, finally. On Sunday, Reagan was 10 months, which this past year has actually gone by so fast. I don't remember it going by this fast with Avery. Like, I feel like it went by a little bit slower with Avery. But with Reagan, I feel like she's just, she's, she's aging quick. Like, she's getting so much older, so much faster. So I used a little Once More With Love piglet sticker to mark that with a custom Reagan 10 months that Andrea got made from Rose Color Days. And it's so sweet because she was 10 months that day. And then I did put in a little car sticker from Coffee Monsters Co. to mark getting gas. I like marking when we get gas because I feel like this is going to help me later. Um, this is a tool that will help me later when I go to budget for how often we get gas. So I like, I've been marking that just to kind of keep an, an eye on that. And then I did put in a little Maleficent sticker from Once More With Love to mark that I watched Descendants 3. Descendants 3 was just recently put on Disney+. Plus. I had watched the first two and then I was like, wait, there's a third one and I cannot watch it. So I was able to watch it on Sunday and I really enjoyed it. I like the Descendants series. It's just like cheesy and cute and like the songs are really catchy. So really enjoyed that. And then I had a Target run that night. So I put in a Once More With Love Target sticker with a Target run script. I don't know what we got. Nothing crazy though, because we didn't spend a lot, but yeah, Target run. And then I put in one of the I Need Space stickers, but it's just like a space related sticker because me and Brian started watching Avenue 5, which is an HBO show. He told me that it actually has really bad reviews, but I feel like it's such an easy watch. Like it's just kind of like, I don't know. I mean, I can understand the bad reviews, but like it's not terrible. And so we binged it that night because there was three episodes that night, but the fourth one was premiering. I don't know. We need to watch the fourth one, but we started binging that, and then I basically had, like, the meanest cuddle session with Reagan. She didn't want anybody but me, so it was very sweet, and I really enjoyed it. So when I was looking through my character stickers, I, like, was flipping through quickly, and I saw my pregnant category, which I haven't touched in a minute and don't plan on touching for a while, and I saw, like, a mama or a dada holding a little baby, and I was like, I want to mark that, because, like, how often am I going to be able to use those? So I did that with a with Reagan script, because we, like, snuggled, and it was really sweet. And that was my week, you guys. Very boring, very work heavy, but also very boring because I really like that. I enjoy a boring week. Um, but yeah, I think it turned out really cute. Like I said, this kit is probably one of my favorites. I love the colors. The deep red and the deep um, navy are like kind of my two favorite colors ever. <laughs> They're just so beautiful and they just look so nice together. And I think this is like the perfect start of a like valentine's day next couple of spreads i think i'm only doing two more valentine's day kits i don't know why i flipped ahead to see dates but i think i am only doing two more valentine's day kits but right now i am doing the deco i had to of course use all of the food because like why not um gosh the food just reminds me so much of me and brian and then i did use the tiny deco little mini hearts from spc throughout i did end up putting some on uh, various full boxes as well i think i just put one on the couple yeah, I think that's what I did. But that is it for this week's plan with me. I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, go ahead and subscribe to my channel if you're not already. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.